Okay, so we've been out for the past few hours walking through a new zone that we found the other day, determining how large it is. So what we're going to do is just walk through the entire thing and show you. Uh, we thought it was about 100 meters wide, but we've discovered it's substantially larger than that. Um, so we'll start right here and show you what we found. So running up here, there's a creek along there and there's a fault that runs along the creek. There's a couple old mines down there um, which have some high grade VMS ore. Over here you have a um, schistose rock with lots of chlorite and quartz in it. So somewhere along here you have a contact and it changes uh, rock type. Probably somewhere around in here you can see the more schistose rock, less quartz in it. It almost looks like it has some chloride in it still. But if you take a look here, you have a old drill hole. This was popped in here, I believe in 1971. And uh, you basically had a straight down hole on this outcrop, you can see Mineralization there, some solid masses of iron pyrite, a little bit of chalcopyrite, and this is basically disseminated with mineral. As you go around the corner, you still have mineralized schists in here. This whole thing is all disseminated, all here. Keep going, and you still have the same rock type, same disseminated zone with little bits of stringers um, and those stringers are mostly iron pyrite. Now up over there where just number two is you have a bit more bedrock exposed here and again same kind of mineralization. If you take a look you find hunks of this all over the road. You got malachite staining in quartz and there's a little bit of chalcopyrite in some of that. More quartz there. More quartz in the bank right there. So there's just quartz veining through here and uh, there's definitely going to be something in there because you can see malachite and there's lots of samples in the road if you actually take a look here, this actually might be a vein, but there's definite chalcopyrite on that. So somewhere in here there's going to be some larger vein that's got to be at least 30 centimeters wide. You have another stringer of pyrite there. And then if you keep going 50 meters around the corner, and we've paced this out from the very beginning of where we started, we're about 190 meters along the road. So we're gonna keep going and see how large this zone really is. Again, throughout here, there's nothing really exposed. There's just a bit of overburden. But uh, if you look over here, all the loose rocks in here, they all look um, similar to this. So we think that those are probably from in there and it's just, the zone's continuing underneath. Right here, stringer of iron pyrite. And again, another stringer of iron pyrite. You have quartz here, quartz there, and right here, you have a nice 10 centimeter wide solid pyrite vein. More quartz there. So here's some of the pyrite right there. Another big hunk of it there. And a lot of this rock here has really tiny stringers. 
up to millimeters in thickness. Keep going. Got a few more stringers here. And this is kind of an interesting area because you can see there's a quartz vein there, quartz vein there, quartz vein there. This one's about 35 centimeters thick. And if you take a look, doesn't look like there's very much in it other than the occasional bit of staining. Really nothing in here. But we removed all this material in here. And if you take a look here, this is basically solid calcopyrite. So we're at a 30 centimeter wide solid calcopyrite vein. We'll take a look at some of those samples right now actually. So here's one that we pulled out. And the good thing about this stuff is it runs really good gold values. It's got some decent silver and it is very high in copper. Some of the samples are exceeding 30%. Here's another nice huge chunk with solid calco directly from that vein. Moving on, again, basically all your oxidized portions have mineralization like this. You can see massive iron pyrite. And here's another little quartz vein in here. The beauty thing about the quartz veins is they look barren right up front, but when you start hammering into them and you go in a few feet, it starts to get mineralized with calcopyrite. Again, another little area where there's lots of stringers. Right here, we uh, dug out a portion of a vein, and that's a solid pyrite vein, which is about 15 centimeters wide. Here's a hunk from that. So it's very nicely mineralized. Another little area here where there's more stringers. Here's a piece we just pulled out of there. More pyrite. So the stringers are from millimeter size up to vein size, which are at the most, I'd say 15 centimeters. And then if you take a look over here, no bedrock exposed here, but there is a small little quarry here. And again, there's dozens and dozens of stringers there. Here's a sample that's obviously from that little quarry. There's pyrotization there. And there's multiple all over the place. Just take a quick look here at a couple of them. There's a bit of quartz in there. Stringers all over the place. There's a nice big vein in there. Runs down here. Another one here. This one's about 10, 15 centimeters wide. Definitely could use some trenching back in there for sure. And then probably some drilling. And if you follow around here, this actually used to be exposed three or four years ago and there's a huge zone of disseminated pyrite all throughout here. And it continues for about 20 meters to around this corner. Here's one of those samples, disseminated mineral. It's fairly evenly disseminated, but it's almost mineralizing 30 to 40% of the rock. And then, again, there's some. As you move over, you get into more of your stringer zone again. You can see the stringers all along here. 
this area. Some more there. And this heads this way. Now if you actually go around this curve and go up this road, there's about a dozen more pyrite veins and stringer veins. And this continues up to about over here. And just to show you, we are around the corner now, up that hill. Again, you have more quartz in there. You can see heavy oxidization on the rocks. And see if you take a look here, another stringer of iron pyrite. There's another one back in there. Another one over here. So there's multiple stringers here, multiple quartz veins, and this runs for about 50 meters up the hill. And on the other side of there, there's a small quarry and it's a different rock type. So this entire length, um, it's gonna be about 400 meters wide of this zone of mineralization with the best stuff being in the center. So this definitely is gonna to lead to something bigger and better as you go back. Because we've already found very nice samples and very nice veining with good grades going back this way. Here's another chunk we found at the end of one of those zones. Again, nice huge Pyrite vein. Thought I'd take a quick look up on the mound behind the mineralized zone. So we started way over there. The drill hole was about over there. Made our way all the way around this road here. The vein with uh, calcopyrite is right there. Your little quarry that's dug out is over there. Continue all the way around here and the zone ends up about there. So on the way up, we noticed huge hunks of quartz. They're iron stained, but maybe the occasional speck of pyrite, but nothing too much in those. And again, we didn't see a whole lot in those right at surface. It's when we went in farther, we were hammering, we found something. So it just could be at depth. Back here, we're about 100 meters behind the actual road. And again, there's more schists here. You have a, a rock contact right here. Looks like the schists dive this way as well as go that way. And uh, you can see the oxidization. Right here, you have some pyrotization. Not a whole lot of mineral left in there. It's oxidized out. Here's a sample, which does have some pyrite and calcopyrite. So it tells you that it makes it back here, and that's a, that's a fair distance, 100 meters. So if there is mineralization at depth, definitely has to be trenched first and drilled. So, a couple interesting things. You're seeing quartz here with a bit of oxidization on it. Stringers of quartz similar to the other side. Big hunk here of sulfides. And wanted to point out a couple of things. We've been all over this mountain. We've spent hundreds and hundreds of days here. Hundreds of hours. There's multiple mines. There's everything here. Everything a prospector ever wanted. Up there, you can see the white. This whole ridge is a 20 meter wide quartz vein. And another thing we just noticed over here, I don't know if you can see that. There's a hole over there. We just found another mine. So we're gonna go check that out, but you're gonna have to wait till the next video. Anyway, that's a pretty substantial size zone. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment. 
like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.